Hi guys, uh, I hope you find this interesting because I've been waiting about three weeks to make this uh, video and um, what it's about is this chisel and hopefully you'll find this uh, helpful I say hopefully interesting uh, I've had this chisel probably something like 40 years and um, it's uh, a plastic handle but it's going rotten um, say so I've had this about 40 years I've used it and abused it and hammered the heck out of it and, uh, and sometimes I use a carpenter's mallet sometimes I use a claw hammer but um, what I've noticed in recent times is as I've picked it up so the surface is damp and I'll see if I can catch this on there. Um, so if you look at my finger it's dry and then it's wet and what's happening there's a liquid actually seeping out of the plastic and it, there's quite a lot of it and that liquid is uh, acetic acid and um, uh, we've, uh, we can sort of prove that by uh, one the smell it smells of uh, vinegar and uh, if I contaminate my pH strips, um, if I take a, a bit of uh, litmus paper and uh, absorb some of that liquid, say so it's taken three weeks for that to develop. Um, on there. And uh, doing a test with my uh, litmus papers here, I found that it had got a, a pH of uh, about 3. And when I look up um, uh, acetic acid, it has a, a, litmus, it has a, a pH of 2.4. Um, and um, I, I, I looked this up on the internet to see who else had this problem. And apparently it's a big problem in museums. Um, by the way, a pH of 1 is equivalent to sulfuric acid, so uh, um, uh, 2 would be lemon juice, 3 would be orange juice, um, uh, etc. through to alkalines. That's an approximation anyway. But uh, what I wanted to say was... Uh, the fumes that come off this liquid are corrosive. Uh, that uh, acetic acid smell, say so that's um, vinegar, um, and uh, though those fumes will corrode tools like these. So other carbon steel tools, if you've got these in a in a tool chest, uh, the fumes that come off this plastic will um, uh, promote corrosion on your other tools and they also promote corrosion of your toolbox. But I say, um, I'd seen this on there, it looks oily, I've, I've wiped it off, used the chisel and then uh, a few days later I noticed oh, it was sweating again. Uh, so I, I've left it, I say, over a, over a period of weeks it's actually got to the stage where it's it's almost dripping off there. I don't know what starts it to um, starts this degradation of the plastic, but um, uh, as I say it looks as though museums have a real problem uh, with it when they try to conserve uh, old plastic parts. So anyway, I'm going to throw this away now because I can't risk having this in with uh, other tools. Um, uh, the acid is it's not. It is uh, supposedly uh, harmful to skin, but it's it's only like um, uh, uh, like vinegar, uh, so uh, you you wouldn't want it in your eye. But as long as you wash your hands, it's not going to be a problem. So I say I'm going to throw this one away, unfortunately. Um, but if you've had a, a similar problem, uh, or if you find that helpful, just just leave a comment, please, just so that other people can pick it up. By the way, the uh, the ACD on there uh, are my uh, my initials, and um, I engraved those on there. Let's say at least forty years ago, um, 
because I remember the uh, the machine I used to do it with and where I was. Anyway, so I hope you find that interesting, guys, and don't forget to um, just leave your comments. Oh, don't look at look, <laughs> don't look at this lousy sharp. <laughs> um, but uh, I say, don't forget to leave your comments um, and um, help and advice just for others to look at. Just one thing before I go, guys. Um, some years ago, I, I went to a house and um, there was a, a, a greeny blue liquid uh, appeared to be bleeding out of the bottom of the switches uh, for the uh, the lights, and it, it really looked quite sinister. And uh, it turned out what it was: the uh, plastic had been uh, attacking the copper and a liquid had leached out, uh, corroded the copper and, and it had actually dribbled out. I've only ever seen it once um, and uh, I guess it was this um, uh, acetic acid that I've uh, just shown you. But um, uh, it, 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 say, it really looked quite sinister. So if you've uh, seen that before or anything like it, please leave a comment. Uh, Below, uh, just, just so as others can uh, can see the you know what a strange world uh, we actually live in. Uh, uh, a lot of things we don't understand completely. Well, I don't anyway. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.